What is up, Jato fam? In this video, I'm gonna be comparing Jato Towers to YouTubers. Now, this is a super original idea that I thought of. Nobody else has ever done this, to my knowledge. And pretty much what's gonna happen is these towers in the game are gonna be compared to a certain YouTuber on the YouTube platform. And I'm gonna give some reasons on why I believe they correlate perfectly. Without any more yapping, let's get into the video. To start things out with a bang, I would personally say that Tower of Ground Level Ascension matches Queso completely perfectly because they are both some of the biggest towers in the game. Now do with that information what you will. Moving on, I have Tower of Super Stupid Security Systems matching the one, the only, Mr. Beast. Because you know how Mr. Beast always has those lasers in his videos that you gotta like dodge? You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, Tower of Super Stupid Security Systems also has those same lasers. And they're pretty prevalent throughout the entire tower. So when I thought of that, I was just like, holy guacamole, this is a perfect match! So yeah, that's exactly why I have that as... At what? Right. Next up, we got Tower of Micromanagement. And to me, the perfect person that portrays the idea of micromanagement would be the one and only Kai Sanat because they're both short and really tiny and some people might even consider him to be a dwarf because he gets dominated by the likes of Tyla and Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj on camera on stream this is real information being fed to you so yeah next we got Tower of Fatness and I was thinking long and hard about this one, all right? But then I came to the conclusion, duh, obviously it's Nicado Avocado. And here's something that I noticed about Tower of Fatness. If you dig down to Jato Wiki or whatever, do some reading into the lore of Tower of Fatness. The tower is supposed to look like a burger, and Nicado Avocado eats plenty of burgers. Not to mention the name being Tower of Fatness, which is something Nikocado Avocado might not identify with, but he certainly is. Tower of Rage is next. And to me, this one was pretty obvious. We got I Show Speed. When you look at many of his videos and his live streams, you can see him raging at many different video games or raging at Messi fans and why he believes Cristiano Ronaldo is the best soccer player of all time. So, with that information, we know that he has a very rage, rage-filled personality, and that translates to the Jato Tower perfectly. Fun fact for the video, did you know that I Show Speed actually played Jato on a live stream once? <laughs> he went straight to Coles and, and he thought it was impossible or something. But yeah, that was pretty awesome. Next up, we got Tower of Cruel Punishment. The hardest tower in the game. Who else could beat it other than the Obby King, Obby Master, Dennis Daly? It's a perfect match. Everyone knows Dennis Daly is the GOAT at Obby's. So why not pair him up with the hardest tower in the game? Now I know some people are going to be like, Well, Mango and cool. Dennis Daly hasn't beaten TLCP. What are you talking about? Well, it's because he hasn't tried. If he tried to beat T T Tower of Cruel Punishment, he would be over like that. He would Thanos snap it out of existence. It would be like it would be like bread and butter to him. So that's why Dennis Daly is matched up with Tower of Cruel Punishment. The next one's a little oddball. It's a little weird, but we got Tower of Ultimately Terrifying. All right. <clears throat> now I'm gonna match Tower of Ultimately Terrifying up with the game theorists, but specifically Matt Pat, because we all know that he loves talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. So I thought that Tower of Ultimately Terrifying is kind of like a scary tower, and it kind of matches with the scary themes that Matt Pat deals with all the time. And something else about Tower of Ultimately Terrifying is there's like a secret ending or something, and there could totally, like, totally be tons of game theories about T-O-U-T. Think about it. It makes total sense. The next one is Tower of Up is Down, and I chose the one and only Laser Beam to fill this one because he lives in Australia. So, so, they live upside down. Now we got Tower of Screen Punching, alright? Now I did uh, some long hard thinking about this one, 
But then I realized it makes perfect sense. Phantom. Because they phantom taxed the last floor of tower screen punching. <laughs> Now we got Phantom's Tower. To me, this was pretty obvious. We gotta put it in lock shift for this one, and we're gonna do Kaneko Kitten. Minus the PDF file allegations. Now, we got Tower of Bloodthirsty Kanos, and I realized that the only person I could possibly pick for this would be Logan ISL, because he has stated publicly on numerous occasions how much he despises final stretches on Jato Towers. And what do we have on TOPK? A massive flippin' final stretch. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that one. Everybody watching this video should like and subscribe right now if you wanna see more content like this. Now for this last one, I've noticed a striking similarity between Tower of Ooey Gooey and EDP 445. I shit it in my pants. I am for real. Never meant to make my booty shit. I apologize, I shit my pants. I shit it in my pants. I am for real. Never meant to make my booty shit. I apologize, I shit my pants.